What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are learning how to put screens on laptops inside of Photoshop. So click, click, see, this is the original screen. This is the new screen. We put it on here, really easy. Let's get started. And before we get started, I know I said we're getting started, but let's do something else. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I put videos up pretty regularly. If you're new to my channel, I do this a lot. So just subscribe, it really helps me out. It encourages me to make more videos like this to help you guys out. Let's go. So starting from scratch, we've imported this photo inside of Photoshop. I downloaded this photo um, from unsplash.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can also download this photo and follow along. Now, um, once you download it, it's opened in Photoshop, the first thing you wanna do is create a shape. Now, you do wanna note the resolution of the computer that is on the desk or whatever, it's a MacBook. This particular screen is a Dell XPS um, laptop, so I looked up the Dell XPS resolution. So I'm gonna click on the shape tool. Where is it at? Right here. Um, click the shape tool. I'm gonna type uh, uh, 1920 by 1200 up here at the top, which is the uh, height and width of the shape we need to create this. So we did that and we just double click the screen. Um, it does this, 1920 by 1200, click OK, and we're good to go. Now let's, let's go ahead and change the color of this, so the properties of this, so window and properties. You see it's open right here. Um, we want to click the shape and change the profit. Let's do the fill to red and let's get rid of the stroke. After that, we wanna to go to hit Control T or Command T on our keyboard and uh, we wanna scale this up. Make sure it scales evenly um, on your computer. I hold Alt on my computer or Command on a Mac to scale it like this, it's fine. I want it to be a good size to cover the whole screen. Now it's the right proportions and everything. And now when the shape is scaled correctly, we have a very important step, which is next. You cannot skip this step or this will not work. You're gonna right click this layer right here and do um, convert to smart object. This is very important and you'll know why we did this later. Now what we wanna do is take this layer and change the blending mode. While it's selected, hit the normal thing here and just do a color burn. That works fine. Next, we wanna actually create the distortion or the perspective that will make it fit on the screen. So what I like to do is go to edit, transform, and then distort. Now from here, you can actually grab the edges and you can move it to the edges of the computer and actually distort it to fit the screen perfectly. Now you do wanna zoom in and kind of finish this up and polish it up. So let's zoom in really quick, control plus on a PC or command plus on a Mac. I'm gonna use the little sidebars to zoom here, make sure this is all lined up appropriately. Now, I, I'm probably not gonna do this perfectly while I work on this, um, but I am gonna fast forward so you can actually just see what it looks like. Okay, that looks great. Now we hit the check mark at the top. The reason we zoomed in and took our time because we do wanna make this as perfect as possible. And the reason we changed it to color burn is so we can see through the shape and the back screen of this uh, monitor to make sure it looks good and stuff like that. We can kind of see the overlap of what we're missing. So now we can change the blending mode back to normal. Now it's just a red screen on this, no big deal. And from here, this is where we originally did the convert to smart object part of this tutorial because we want to do is uh, we can change the title of this right here you can just click this little thing you can double click this and do screen and then we can actually double click this and it opens up a new file which is called a psb file um this file is uh the screen itself basically um, we want to add a new image onto the screen instead of the red so we can go into our folder um, we have uh, an image that I can just drag and drop in here. This can be any image you want. You wanna scale it up to make sure it fits. Now, if you're using like UI frames or something like that, an application, it will fit perfectly because you did the right resolution originally when you created it because you know what laptop you're using. Um, this is good. Let's do file save. And um, this will save this PSB file back onto our original folder or our original file right here. And now we have a screen on the laptop. It works pretty great. It looks good. And that if, that, if that's all you need, then by all means, go for it. There is a highlight right here. You could repaint that on here, um, but I think this looks great. Now, if we do wanna add like a highlight, this is an easy way to do it really quick. Let's do, 
a little new layer button right here, new layer. Let's go to the paintbrush. I have it set to like 4,000 something that's pretty big. And I'm gonna just paint white, make sure it's set to white. On here, doesn't matter, just white. Click that, I'm gonna hit uh, the Command T, Control T on a PC to scale this down. Hit that, um, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's uh, make it nice and big and blurry. Even bigger, just like so. Grab this layer, change the opacity, bring it down to like, I don't know, 30%. There's a slight highlight on it. So now this is like a screen that's you know got a, a reflection on it basically. Um, now you could go in and do some serious reflections on this, but I did something really quick and dirty just to make it work. Um, hit file save. Now this is reflected back into the original piece. As you can see, there's a reflection over here. Now depending on the the actual computer and whether you need a reflection or not, you can be the judge on whether you need this reflection or not. What looks the best? What looks the most realistic? And there you have it. That is how you add a screen to a laptop inside of Photoshop. You can add all the extra steps, like I said before, to make this screen look real. But uh, today we just wanted to learn how to put this screen on here. Don't forget to change it to a smart object before you do the distort thing or it won't work. And after that, you're good to go. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.